Hey everyone, Elliot Chun here from Future Shop CES 2012 with a familiar face, Jeff Ingram. How are you, man? Oh, I'm feeling very good today. We're three for three, third CES. Great to see you. What's going on in appliances at Samsung? There's some really exciting things about, uh, you know, our whole philosophy about pushing the boundaries and really incorporating all Samsung technology across multiple devices. And we've really done that with our uh, refrigerators this year and even our washer and dryers. So. Uh, what we have here on the screen is uh, basically an LCD panel where we can write memos, look at a photo slideshow. We can actually have our calendar, so always be reminded as to who has a baseball game on the weekend or an outing that you have to attend. Maybe a uh, husband on business, you know, I'm at CES this uh, week, so I can show that to my wife. Twitter feed, you're going to be able to see all your Twitter action right on your refrigerator door. In real time, might I add? Yeah, in real time. Uh, you can even go into the next page here where we have weather bug, check out the weather, shopping. We even have the ability to clone our TV. So if we have the TV on in the living room, we make our way to the kitchen, maybe do a little cooking, but don't want to miss any of the action of the game or uh, maybe a TV program we're watching. We can control it, watch uh, Dr. Oz here, change the channel, turn up the volume, watch it right on our refrigerator door. Especially, Never miss a game when you're cooking. Oh, especially if it goes in in overtime, right? That's right. And then lastly, we also have the ability with other devices like washer and dryer where we can actually see what's going on with our washing cycle or drying cycle. So uh, maybe before I step out, I notice that I still have another uh, 45 seconds here to, uh, or 45 minutes for my laundry to finish. I can actually go in there, change it if I want to go permanent press, normal, where the section is going on right now. So in the, it might be in the rinsing area. So we can actually see it's changed there. So we're always being able to stay in communication with all of our devices and all of our appliances. One of the great things about our new washer and dryer lineup is the ability to be able to communicate with those devices using our mobile phones and our tablets. Uh, the nice thing is, you know, you're never too sure as to when your load is done in the washer and when you need to move it to the dryer. So this is going to now give us the ability to have full control over our washer and dryer and give us those no notifications and alarms that say the wash load is done, it's time to put it in the dryer. So we have a Galaxy phone device here where we can actually start a new, uh, new wash. So maybe we don't want to start the wash right away, you know, maybe we want to start it in two hours time. Um, it's because we don't want it the wash to sit in the actual washer for, you know, a long, long period of time. So we can select the choose the cycle normal start and then from here we can actually see how much time is left we'll get a notification as to when the load is done and this is great because now we're not tied to being stuck at home when the washer and dryer needs to be changed or uh, when the alarms go off so this device is going to enable us to not only control in the home but out of the home as well Let's talk about apps. What platforms is this going to be available on? Uh, it's going to be yeah. available on Android devices at the, at the, the current time. Uh, and then obviously we'll look at it, uh, expanding it to other OS devices as well.